Hello once again, good afternoon to SVTV Africa. This is SVTV Chat. We are celebrating one of Ghana's finest. She's an actress. She has been in the system for a while. She's doing great. Very beautiful lady by our standard. I have seen her for the first time with a Bible. She's going to share the word of God with us today. I'm here with my production crew, DJ Nyami, call him Emmanuel Kwajo. I Kobi uh, Sakite, Bismakus, Yeni FIFA, and entire crew. Uh, this show is heavily sponsored by Kiki B's Restaurant and Lounge. Um, you can come here on Fridays and Saturdays for your live band shows, whilst you can also come here on Sundays for a karaoke night. If at that karaoke night, I don't miss it myself. So you, sh you should also don't be, you, you, don't, you don't have the opportunity to be out. You have to be here to enjoy that karaoke night on Sundays. And Papa's Pizza. Now, on Monday, we have something called Monday Madness. You want to go mad on Monday? Now, get to a Papa's Pizza joint closer to you. When you, go, go th when you get to that place, uh, call for the larger or the big size of uh, pizza. They will give you the full pizza and then they add a full bottle of cook uh, to it. It costs only 35 Ghana cities. Um, you can also call and then uh, place a request. Call through this number 02411 50345. 02411 50345. Or you can dial star 844 star 10 hash. Star 844 star 10 hash. Papa's Pizza. Taste it. Love it. We are on. My name is Evan Samelga. Call me Chief Ami. And I'm here with Christabel Eke. Hey, did I get the pronunciation right? Did I have the pronunciation right? Yes, AK. AK, Christabel AK. Yes. Why a fool? And I say. Hey, what's it? I'm trying. Wow. You, you were born in Ghana? No, I was born in Lagos. But I came to Ghana at a very young age. So, are you a Ghanaian? I'm Ghanaian Nigerian. Oh, okay. A dad from Nigeria or mom from Nigeria? Um, dad from Nigeria and mom from Ghana. Wow. Which part of Ghana uh, does mom come from? Ashanti region, Bonyre. Bonyre. Maybe I'm in Kenteno. Aye. Wow. That is beautiful. So, into who did you catch pa? I make a tree. Hey, Christopher. Who can you? Aye. It's the same. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Where did I shock him? It was here. I did miss him. But, you know, we are here with Christabel Eki from uh, half Nigerian, half Ghanaian. She's an actress. Where did you school? A lot of schools. St. Mary's. Let's start from scratch, from basic school. Uh, a bit of everything. St. Michael's, T.I. Amedia in Kumasi, uh, Santa Maria College, um, St. Mary's High School. University of Ghana, so a bit of... I'm confused. Um, T. I. am a dear of in Kumasi. I thought it was secondary school. Yes. Uh, I went to St. Mary's too in Accra, which is also a secondary school. No, T. I. am a dear, I was in the primary. Then then I was in about, I think, class four or five, yes. And it has the secondary, but there's a primary too. So I went to the primary. From St. Margaret Mary, right? There, um... My high school was in St. Mary's. And then, but I went to Santa Maria for my JSS. Yes, Santa Maria. So from St. Mary's to Legon? Yes. What course did you offer in St. Mary's? And then what course did you offer in Legon? General Arts. Yes, I was a general arts student. And then in Legon, I did information studies and linguistics. Wow. So... Linguistics. So you understand any other language apart from the Ghanaian languages, Nigerian languages, and English? <laughs> I wish. I understand French. I understand French. But uh, in, I did Arabic for a year. Arabic? Oh, goal, 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 goal. I live like Bao Tao. That's all I can remember. I live Bao Tao. A. Bao is B. And I think Tao is C. Yeah, you like, yeah. Wow. Two le play fancy French. What are you saying? This is, what? Two le play fancy French. <laughs> Je parle français. Uh -huh. I'm pay, I'm pay. Oh, 
Oh, and I'm pizza. <laughs> Interested. Now, um, and for me, uh, you learned, you know, good, you did co good course in um, university. So apart from you being an uh, actress, what have you been in? Modeling and fashion. Before becoming an actress, I was doing modeling. And then I worked as a marketing executive at Vibe FM at the time before uh, modeling Miss Malaika and then acting. So, yes. You work at Vibe FM with, with which crop of people? Uh, at the time I was in there, let me see, uh, I think, okay, I can only say they were at Pyramid House at Ring Road, yeah, Pyramid House. My cook, the CEO, was there then, and uh, the presenters, I, I, um, the lady with the twins, Bina, Bina Kwabi was there too as well, yes, and then a host of many of them, uh, Ando, Dor no, is it Dorin Ando? No, there's another Ando, I don't know if it's Dorin Ando, yeah. Okay, okay, all right. She's been in the media before, she's still in the media, she's a showbiz person. Where do you church? Action Chapel. Action Chapel. Are you active member? Do you, do you have a card? Actually, I just uh, joined Action Chapel, but I'm yet to be a member to get my card. <laughs> oh, wow. So before Action Chapel, you were, you were not a Christian at then? I've always been, a, I was born a Christian. I was from a Christian home, so I've always been a Christian. Wow, wow. So mom and dad are all Christians? Yes. Were you in church the previous time? Yes. Give me one Bible quick advice first before. Okay, I'll give you the one I I heard yesterday. Ex Viewers, this is the Bible she brought. Very lovely Bible. I love this Bible. Very nice Bible. Ah, very beautiful. Thank, thank, thank you, and then thank God for you holding this Bible. Uh, so give us the verse. Exodus fourteen fourteen. The Lord will fight for you, and you shall hold your peace. Oh, whom are you fighting against? The Lord will fight for us all, and you shall hold your peace. That's what my pastor said yesterday. So that's the last quotation that's in my head from yesterday. Wow, wow, wow. Do, do, do you have in mind one of these days, maybe... After you have done with movies, you feel like I've paid my dues to the country and I want to relax. Do you see yourself being a minister of the word? Hey, I'll, that would be a great opportunity. That would be a great opportunity. If God gives me that opportunity, I'll take it. Are you dreaming about that? Dreaming? I don't dream about that, but I'm open to it. Okay. We are still live on SVTV Africa, on SVTV chat with Krista Bell, AK. Do I have the name right? AK. Okay, so um, we are, the show is sponsored by Papa's Pizza. Uh, Krista Bell's Pizza will be uh, ready in about 15, 15 minutes' time. We're going to present that to her and then we continue with the show. We are live inside East Legon um, at Kiki Beast Restaurant, a restaurant and lunch. Now, let's continue with our, our chat. Krista Bell. Um, at what age did you enter into acting? Um, I'll say 19, 1920, yeah. And how did it come about? Um, I heard about an audition, actually, and my mom and I, we heard about it. So my mom encouraged me to go for there and I got my first film okay and you on the first day on set who th those days who were the stars and how was it like you mingling with them on the set there was Yvonne Nelson there was John Dumelo um, um, many others there was Don Ziggy and the director was Ken Steve Anoka from Nigeria yeah, and many, many other popular, like, familiar actors and popular actors. How much did you take uh, for your first shoot? My first shoot, I think it was, I didn't, I, I didn't get paid. 
Yes, I didn't take. I didn't get paid. I remember. I don't know. I was probably given transportation, but I don't remember getting paid for doing the first for that that first film. So then, it's true. <sighs> Our stars begin with movies. They do a lo whole lot of movies before after the afterwards they get paid. Is it true? Yes, it's true. Some some production houses. Um, do not mind if you're a beginner or not. Even if you're an extra, they pay you whatever it is. They, they do pay. And others too, um, if you're willing, they tell you about their budget and if you're willing to go ahead and, and do it for free or for, s for more like free or less, that's up to you because you think it's an opportunity for you to build on your acting career. Fine. You can send your uh, comments and then your messages. Any kind of question you want to ask Krista, but she's ready and she's going to uh, answer that live on SV TV chat on SV TV Africa. My name once again is Servant Amewuga. Now, um, on the first day, you had the opportunity to uh, stay in a movie. How was the feeling like? Um, the very first day we were going to do it, I was very tensed, but because I had waited days, I would come and then we won't shoot. I would go home with my suitcase and come and go and come. So on, when we finally got the cameras on and the shoot was going on, um, I was very nervous, but um, I was listening to the director as well. And I remember them calling us academy people, like move here, do this. It wasn't the most comfortable uh, experience, but it was a learning one. At age 19, when you were entering into, you know, have this dream that, yeah, I want to be an actress. Did you approach someone, like, spoke to people? Yes, I approached a couple of people, you know. <laughs> it's funny, sometimes I even go on Facebook and then I would maybe find someone like Abdul Salam Muni and message him, but he would never reply. <laughs> and then, um, yeah, I approached a few directors, a few directors. When I met them, I let them know about my interest. Wow. So you got to a point at 90 years whilst you were coming up. You got to a point when uh, producers and managers were feeling like they wanted to sleep with you before give you an opportunity. Um, a few, I encountered a few, but I was also lucky. I found favor with some people too who helped me. And then, yeah, the few that I encountered, they would just ask me out or tell me to be their girlfriend or, you know, me, I don't know if they really liked me for me or they wanted to use it as a, as a bargain before they give me a rule. But uh, I didn't have any relationship with anybody in the beginning in the film industry. So, yes, I encountered a few. When they telling you, oh, uh, let, let, let's go out and then, you know, have fun. And from that, you know what I have so I can help you. What, what, what was going through your mind at, at that time? Yes, even actors. Actors, well, some uh, I remember an actor telling me, "Let me manage you. Let me, let, let me go. Let's have a relationship. Let's uh, date, and then I will help you." Movie industry is full of politics and this and that, but then I I didn't really believe that. I didn't believe, I didn't believe in that because I was also getting opportunities uh, in other places without anyone asking me for that so i just focused on the ones i was getting and i knew that gradually growth will come yeah so eventually you end up dating someone in the industry whether be being it music movie or you know the showbiz industry no i wouldn't say i dated somebody in the i've dated anybody in the industry currently as we speaking no no there's these rumors. Are you dating John Tumelo? No. Are you cool with him? Yes. Do you speak? Do you have his phone number? You speak? Uh, we speak when we meet. Usually when we meet on set, we have, the, we have a good vibe. We are friends. Have you ever had a crush on any guy on, you know, in the industry? 
Um, a crush, a crush, a crush, a crush. No, growing oh. up. My oh, oh, okay. So the uh, music. My crush was a footballer. That was Michael Essien. Wow, <laughs> my goodness. <laughs> I'm not telling anyone. <laughs> Christopher Ike's crush was Michael Essien, the beast on the When I was in high school. <laughs> <laughs> here is right here on SVTV Africa, on SVTV chat, you know. Uh, we having fun here, chilling. Uh, you know, it's a chat, you know, free flowing uh, chat with uh, Christopher because she's a very nice person to be with. Now, so. You have a crush on Michael Asian? I said passed. You had, okay. Okay, passed, okay. So now, how, how? Yeah, the, your pizza is in, okay, that is the pizza. That is the pizza from Papa's Pizza. We're going to give it out to you. Now, but uh, how many mov uh, movies do you have to your credit? I haven't counted, but I have quite a number of them. Both Nigerian, Ghanaian, home videos, cinema films, I have a good number of them. So you can check online or Iroko TV or something. Were you kind of a base in Nigeria for some time? Well, I, I, would, I used to go to Nigeria and stay there for months, but I, I had to come back because I had commitments here, sometimes school, family. I wasn't really based there for work. I've never been based there for work yet. So you acting in Nigeria and then acting in Ghana, how do you see the two markets? Then the, the both markets are good because in Ghana, this is where I started. Um, it's quite an open market. We used to have foreigners, even Nigerians come. So at a point, there were a lot of Nigerians in the industry. So you would even think it's the same. And then so when I went to Nigeria, it was the same Nigerians who took me there, and I met more Nigerians. So the difference wasn't much, but the difference was just that I'm in Lagos. It's more aggressive, more crowdy, and um, what else? Let's say Nigerians mean business. They mean business as in compared to Ghana, they mean business as in? Nigerians mean business in the sense that I'll say when I'm in the, um, when, when I go to Nigeria and I'm there even in the hotel, People who come with their scripts, and when they come with their script, they're coming with dates and time, and you know, of course, money. So like, they want everything to be done, but sometimes it's they do it too fast. And growing up in Ghana, I'm not so fast-paced. You know, I wasn't so fast-paced. So the difference is sometimes they want things to be fast. And in Ghana, we can do the, we achieve the results, but we still go in the much, you know, not so fast-paced, and. We 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 we, pref we we believe more in perfection, you know. We want the job to be done, but we want it to be done well because I think the Ghanaians criticize a lot. So everybody wants their thing to you know hit above the mark. So that's the difference. But in Nigeria, usually the mark they want to hit is uh, maybe a financial mark. They just want their movie to outsell another movie or sell to this mark. But Ghana, as, as much as they wanted to sell, we also want it to be appealing, you understand, to be beautiful. Who, who took you to Nigeria in the first place uh, for acting? Uche Naimbunambo. He's a Nigerian producer. Well, he's the CEO for One in Two Productions. Okay. All right. Nigerian mean business compared to our industry, said Chris Tabeleke live on SVTV chat on SVTV Africa. Up, coming up as an actress, who were you looking up to? Um, I watched a lot of films uh, in, in Nigeria when I go and visit. My auntie would buy a lot of home videos, so I watched a lot of Iniedo. I watched um, Omotola, Genevieve, Stella Damascus. And then in Ghana, when I came, I watched Jackie Apia. I watched Yvonne Nelson. I learned a lot from them. The addiction, the way they they are audible. I learned a lot. Nadia, I watched all of them. Yeah. Who was like that a person? I want to be like this one. Who was that person? I've always felt like I have my style. I didn't really have a person I want to be exactly like. 
because before I, when I watch them, I watch myself and I ask myself, can I do what they are doing? But I realize that when I um, gone to Benin for Juju or anything like that, I believe in the Almighty God who sent Jesus Christ to die for our sins. And the reason Benin came in as I, at a point, I took a break in my career to explore other things. And then I joined a friend who was, I met a new friend who was traveling to Benin. And I said, okay, why not? I like French style and all that. So I went there, saw the place for a while, had my own experience. But I can say that all that experience, going to Benin, staying away from the camera for a while, it was just a way of um, drawing closer to God. I think that was God's way of bringing me closer to him. So I would say, I used to say like I took a break to do other things. But thinking about it, I took a break to really seek God. So you went to church in Benin? Yes, that was where I found Action Chapel. How did it happen? Uh, I w you know, in Benin, there are a lot of Catholic churches and they speak French or the local phone. So I used to go with my neighbors to church, but it was a Catholic church, and then they speak just the French. The translation is just French, sometimes English. I'm not really a Catholic, even though I went to Catholic schools. And then I like um, one Wednesday, I think a midweek, Wednesday or Thursday, I wanted to go, I really wanted to go and pray. I wanted to go to church. So. I said, okay, let me just go to the church. They take me to every time alone. So I went there. I didn't hear nothing, but I just felt like, okay, at least I've come to the house of God. So on my way back, I met a bike man, and then he just started talking to me. You look beautiful, this, that. And you're, we went to church. I'm like, yes. He said, where are you from? I said, I'm from Ghana. He said, really, Ghana? I know, wait. Your people, I know your people's church. Your people have a church in this country. The church service is going on now. He himself is going there, but he wants to make some money before he goes to church. So I can come, you know, as adventurous as I am. I sat on the bike, and he took me to, lo and behold, Action Chapel in Benin. So I went there. They were having a service, the pastors praying and all that. I sat there, and then that was another experience, made friends. So when I came back to Ghana, I just continued with Action Chapel. Wow, that was in which year? That was just last year. Wow, wow, wow. Everybody thought going to Benin, you know, Benin, the juju, juju, agbala, juju, juju. But she said she rather changed in Benin. Wow, that is very, 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 very insightful. Now, you, 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 your pastor, meeting your pastor, you have mom and dad. Did any of them complain? about how you dressed like how I'm dressed like not not now but like how you put your stuff on social media like i said i can only talk about now <laughs> so so uh, how many are you how many siblings um i have two siblings here in Ghana. okay wait i think in all in all i should have about five siblings because the relationship like my dad has other kids in Nigeria, three kids in Nigeria, and then I have two here. So yeah, I'm really cool with my siblings. I grew up with two of my siblings actually. That's Tabitha and Sinclair, my brother and my sister. My brother is the last. I'm very very close with them. Yeah, uh, and then my siblings in Nigeria, I visit from time to time. So, did they? They also did not complain about you posting stuff on social media. Who, who? She, she doesn't want to. Okay, so they, 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 they so, so they complain about it. <laughs> and, and you did not, you did not listen to them at that time. <laughs> Were you pushed by someone? This having this conversation will be a waste of my time, you know, because. I have to talk and talk and talk and talk. But but are you changed now? Because I can see, you just came with a Bible, giving us a Bible quotation. Changed in Benin last year. Today, from your top to down, fantastic. Have you changed now? Yeah, God has changed me. So no more 
semi nude or nude pictures on face uh, social media <laughs> what god says is what will be god says is what will be wow that is evangelist christabel okay <laughs> <laughs> for you, Lion, SZTV Africa. How, where do you see yourself in the next five years? Where God wants me to be, yeah. In the industry? Yeah, man disposes, man proposes, God disposes. I mean, I can dream it all I want, but it's still going to be where God wants me to be. I've come to learn that, so that's it. How is your relationship as an actress with um, the other actresses in Ghana here? Very, very well, very good. I saw in a post, um, Fela Makafui, you having a beef with her. No, we met. I think we we're going to be on a film together. We met recently, so we are good. So that what happened have been brushed off. Nothing happened between the two. No. Does Ghanaian that does the Ghanaian movie industry pay as well? Yes, but it can get better. What can we do to get make it better? Not as in monetary aspect, in all aspects. What can we do to make it better? We all becoming stakeholders of it. You know, when someone a producer approaches you to use your facility, if you can give it to the person hotels, restaurants, um, even banks, in investors. We can all support. We can all help. So if someone approaches you to that they need your help over something, like the way Kiki B is sponsoring the show, Papa's Pizza, it's all a way of becoming stakeholders of the entertainment industry. So we can all do that to see that the entertainment industry is taken to the next level. You, 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 you were in Nigeria, B being an actress, um, you have acted in Nigeria. So what one or two things did you learn from Nigeria? Or do you think we can tap from the Nigerians to mend our own and make our own better? Speed. Speed and, you know, action. It's good to plan. It's good to plan and want to get it all done. But it's also good to act. You know, Nigerians act. Even when they're making mistakes, they're still acting. They're working on the mistakes and you're acting. And I'm sure they will also want to learn from Ghanaians in terms of planning and then doing it well. So we can learn action. They can also learn planning. So when we plan, we should do it well. And that being said too, well, I think both countries um, have strong faith. Nigerians really have a strong faith. Yeah, we can learn that from them. And then... Yeah, we're doing well. On a, on, on, on a scale of 1 to 10, where will you put Ghana in the industry, in the movie industry? Oh, I, I can't rate that. 1 to 10, I can't rate that. What about Nigeria? I can't rate that as well. I, see, I think both countries are doing well because we are very similar. Even in terms of the movies we are shooting, they are, they are, they are, our cultures are similar. As a people, we are very similar. Only maybe the accent and the size of the country and all that. But we are one. And the things we do, the movies, we, we are one. But I think when we, when we unite, we could do better in the international market. Are you in a relationship now? Yes. So very soon. Oh, okay, she said what God will say is the final. But... When should we expect marriage? I don't know. What God says is what will happen. <laughs> Chris, I'm like for your live on SVTV chat on SVTV Africa. Um, as a change person now, any advice for the upcoming youth who like posting stuff on social media, semi-naked, naked, you know, and all that? As, uh, all I would say is um, grab one of these, man. Grab one of these. Get you some wisdom. That's all. DJ Nyami, give him uh, my messages and let me read it out. And then uh, let's see what's happening. Uh, the kind of messages people are sending to uh, Christabel Ike. Uh, 
we are live on SVTV chat. So yeah, your 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 crash on Michael Asian was live. So people have already picked it up. <laughs> Benjamin, this is it. <laughs> Benjamin AJ, you say what is wrong if she knows God uh, at her what is he at Benin or at Adjua? I'm confused of I'm on the best stage. Uh, Ali Baba now says presenter, this is your English dear. Hey, Bastion Pioneer. Everybody used to me. Uh, no, uh, William also says, how did it came about? Hey, presenter, bro. Hey, Jesus Christ. Uh, Richard Okran Kwame says, who are you to judge at Adjua? Um, can Kennedy say, Karine Kennedy says, who. <laughs> Why am I not pro professional? Please help me. And uh, show me the reason why I'm not professional. Uh, Sumaila Imoru says, please ask her if she still wants to be to be with Michael. Sumaila Imoru says, I should ask if you still want to be with Michael Asian. Ah, uh, that was his crash. Felix Adelo says, please ask Christabel, where is Michael now? It's just a crash. They never met. Or do you meet my do you meet Michael anyway? Oh, it's just a crash. Never met him. Crash. Um, was just a crash. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Felix Adele says again. Say she, uh, he said, Christopher, do you love my Clayson again? Answer me, please. Come on, guys. <laughs> uh, uh, F. F. says, uh, hey. Um, and then Felix Adele says, Christopher, now you leave Michael. Ah, oh, why? Uh, Paul, maybe. I think Felix knows more than we know because the, his messages on Michael Asian are, you know. Uh, Pauline Morris says, good answer. Both countries work uh, hard in hand, um, Nigeria and Ghana. And then Felix Adele said, Michael, Michael loved this lady, Papa. <laughs> but do, do you have any proof to that? If you don't have any proof to that, no. Now, let's give uh, um, our piece out to uh, Christabel so that, yeah. We move on. Christabel, I have uh, pizzas from Papa's Pizza. Yeah, fantastic. They are our, they are our sponsors. Papa's Pizza, Papa's Pizza, Papa's Pizza. Yes, of course, that is Papa's Pizza. Wow. Okay. So, these are these are. Uh, this is from Papa's Pizza for you. What do you have for Papa's Pizza? Thank you very much, Papa's Pizza keep being amazing. I see how you work very hard to give us the tastiest pizza. Thank you very much. God bless you. That's right. That is it. Uh, from Krista Meleke, she thanks Papa's Pizza for presenting this pizza uh, to a live on SVTV chat on SVTV Africa. The show was sponsored by Papa's Pizza and then Kiki Beast. Now, uh, in 2018, you said you uh, have one or two movies to talk about it and then finally wrap it up and then your last uh, final words to uh, know, everyone who is watching. Okay. Um, the recent movie was Saiche Gang by Peter Sedifia and it's still in cinemas. It's still showing around. So, everybody should look out for it and watch it on your free day i want to but on your free day where you have like you are home doing nothing what do you do what do you love doing when i'm home i watch um youtube i like to listen to messages and when i'm not home i can just drive around and just enjoy the city do you drink as an alcohol a little Yes. All right. So from here, I, I guess you're going to church. <laughs> Today, no. <laughs> that is Crystal for you live on SVTV chat on SVTV Africa. Thanks to the entire production crew, DJ Nyame, Kwame Manuel Kwajo, Bismarck Kosieni Fifa, and Kobi Sakita. Our sponsors, Papa's Pizza, and then. Kiki Bees Restaurant and Lounge. My name is Evan Samelga. Call me Chief Ami. Thanks for having you, Crystal Bell. Okay. Thank you, Evan. Thank you, Puppet Pizza. Thank you, listeners and audience, viewers. Bye-bye for now. <laughs>